It's not often we see some common sense or a first principles approach when hearing about regulation towards Tesla. But behold, there is some right here. Sawyer Merritt, the king of breaking Tesla news, shares this. Tesla scores win as NHTSA adopts performance-based rules for autonomous vehicles. And yes, this is more exciting than you might think. Regulators will focus on setting objective performance targets that a vehicle's autonomous system must meet, regardless of the hardware or methods it uses to achieve them. The system will be judged based on what it can actually do, not on what and how many sensors it has. Perhaps UNIS, the United Nations Economic Commission for Europe, might hear of this performance-based evaluation and deploy such a system as well. An autonomy driving test of sorts with measurable performance metrics to see how these robots on wheels actually behave in a testing scenario. The big difference here being if you're a human and complete and pass a very brief driving test, you'll driving future begins and unless you crash often there's no data to look at measuring your competence on the road. On the other hand, autonomous cars are data gathering machines. They can be constantly monitored and over time will improve safety to such a point it will make no sense stepping foot into a vehicle unless it's autonomous. But let's save that can of worms and the enjoyment one has for driving for another video. Let's see more info on how NHTSA plans to reinvent the wheel test over on Not A Tesla App, which is a wonderful independent website and fan-driven platform dedicated to delivering the latest Tesla news, software update releases, rumours and practical tips for owners, the US National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, which is NHTSA, has announced that its plan to modernise the decades-old Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, FMVSS, for autonomous vehicles, AVs, is finally in progress. While this is important for the entire industry, it's a massive validation of Tesla's long-held belief in vision-based autonomy. Tesla's approach to this relies on cameras and neural networks to process visual data, mimicking human perception instead of using LiDAR or radar for self-driving capabilities. You know, just like we humans drive, only Teslas have the reaction times of a calculator. For years, a major regulatory hurdle for Tesla has been the prescriptive nature of existing automotive safety rules, many of which were written in the 1960s for cars with human drivers and traditional features such as a steering wheel. Oh, those steering wheels are going to be so quaint one day, aren't they? The new framework will move away from telling companies exactly what hardware to use and instead define how well their systems must perform. Tesla's camera-based systems can now show its value through real-world performance data, not required hardware. This approach is far more flexible and will hopefully push global regulators like Unis to follow suit, and will even help make self-driving tech more affordable as it won't demand car companies use certain hardware such as LiDAR and radar. Still, creating universal standards is tricky and it will all take time. The end of prescriptive rules. The traditional FFMVSS, it's very catchy, isn't it? Hang on. Federal Motor Vehicle Safety Standards, there's one too many Fs there, I think, unless the writer is being rude, <laughs> created a potential roadblock for any company pursuing a novel approach to autonomy. The old rules were built around the assumption of a human driver and specific mandatory pieces of hardware, such as steering wheels, pedals and mirrors. Innovators were faced with the challenge of either seeking individual exemptions or trying to fit their new technology to an old, outdated regulatory box. A bit like legacy automakers when they're trying to build EVs within the old framework of internal combustion engine cars. It just won't deliver the same efficiency as cramming EV components into car bodies designed for engines limits space for batteries or storage, reducing range and utility compared to purpose-built EV designs. EVs need to be designed and built from the ground up, throw away the old rules, just as NHTSA are now doing by adopting performance-based rules for autonomous vehicles. It's great news. This has been particularly challenging for Tesla's vision-only approach. While most of the industry has adopted a sensor fusion model using cameras, radar and expensive LiDAR sensors, Tesla has chosen a vision-only model that mimics the human eye. It makes the system more generalised and scalable for autonomy. Which is exactly why Tesla has the enormous advantage here, scalable for autonomy. Recognising that Tesla has the ability to build 2 million cars every single year that are also capable of autonomy, plus the millions of cars already on the road, plus the fact that these cars are affordable to build in the first place, something which other autonomous car companies 
just aren't able to achieve. A prescriptive model could have one day mandated the inclusion of LiDAR or radar in vehicles, a move that could have prevented Tesla from offering full self-driving or autonomous vehicles in the future using their current hardware. This would have been a tragically stupid requirement, forcing expensive, unnecessary equipment that actually conflicts with Tesla's cameras and adds complexity where it's just not needed. Thank goodness for some common sense. Performance over hardware. The most important part of NHTSA's autonomous vehicle framework for Tesla is the explicit shift to a performance-based standard. This means that regulators will focus on setting objective performance targets that a vehicle's autonomous system must meet regardless of the hardware or methods it uses to achieve them. Instead of a rule that says a self-driving car must have LiDAR, a new rule will be closer to a self-driving car must be able to detect a pedestrian at X distance under Y conditions and come to a safe stop. Validating vision only. This new approach is a huge win for Tesla. It allows FSD to prove its safety and capabilities on its own merits using its massive trove of real-world data from millions of vehicles. The system will be judged based on what it can actually do, not what and how many sensors it has. This plays directly to Tesla's strengths. They've long argued that Tesla Vision, powered by a sophisticated neural network trained on billions of miles of real-world driving, can eventually be safer than a human driver. The new NHTSA framework effectively clears the path for Tesla to make that case to regulators with data without being handicapped by the requirements to include hardware that can create sensor contention and reduce safety. Elon's been banging on about this for such a long time now. If you've got multiple sensors, what happens when one conflicts with another? Which one do you trust? This leads you down a road of an unsafe autonomous vehicle. While the full process of updating the federal safety standards will take years to complete, this announcement is a big moment for autonomy in the United States. It's a sign that regulators are taking autonomous vehicles seriously and creating a data-driven pathway for innovation. Isn't this nice to hear a common sense approach to regulating autonomous vehicles? Are you listening, unis? Adopt this smarter approach. Set clear performance tests so global autonomous vehicle trials can roll out and start saving lives sooner. That is the urgency of this, after all. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please do hit that subscribe button as it really helps my channel grow. And three years into making this channel, I would not be here without Patreon support. For those that support me for just a dollar a month, we'll also get access to a weekly unplugged Tesla Jigsaw episode, which is your weekly dose of Tesla news, rants, speculation and more. I also do lots of extended interviews. You can ask questions to the people I do interview. And I do a weekly poll on a Monday as well, where we discuss things like Elon's massive package, and on occasion, I do rant a little bit about all sorts of other stuff as well. So join us over here. It really helps support independent creators like myself. If you would be so kind, go across to patreon.com forward slash Tesla Jigsaw and support me for just a dollar a month. And I'll give you a ton of bonus content. You can get your name in the end credits just here if you support me at a higher level. I thank you for your consideration there. I'm Will. This is the Tesla Jigsaw. Thank you, Patreons. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.